New tonight, a victory for religious freedom sparked by a Philadelphia teen who loves the game of basketball. Eyewitness News reporter Natasha Brown explains. Mastery Charter sophomore Nasiha Thompson King has been playing basketball since seventh grade. She loves the game, but was shocked that she was asked to remove her traditional Muslim hijab headwear during a playoff game back in February. It was our second playoff game against Palumbo, and when it was time for me to get in the game, a referee told me that I couldn't play with my hijab and I had to take it off if I wanted to play. So I decided just not to play. At the time, the referee was enforcing a Pennsylvania Interscholactic Athletic Association rule requiring athletes to get prior approval for any head garment for religious or medical reasons. But Thompson King had never had a problem wearing her hijab before. I just didn't want to take it off because of my religion. The incident sparked outrage over the constitutionality of the policy and calls for PIAA rule changes. That's when Pennsylvania State Senator Sharif Street got involved. We're asking you to change your rule book to, uh, to accommodate um, the First Amendment rights to freedom of religion and freedom of, of expression. This week, the PIAA did change its policy, now stating that religious headwear is permitted without prior approval. I was excited when I was told the news, and I was happy for myself and anybody else that wear the hijab while they play basketball so they won't have any questioning about the hijab. I'm absolutely proud of my Nancy Head. That's my only daughter, and I'm so proud of her and what she's done in, in playing basketball and also taking a stand. I have two more years of basketball to play, and I'm looking forward to seeing where females or males wearing their religious head covering. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News.